G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Enshrouded. It's been several days, maybe even several weeks since I've actually touched this game, but it is a Sunday Arvo here in Australia, and uh, I'm just having a, a relaxing time. Finished all of the work for the day and decided, you know what, let's get some Enshrouded in. It's been too long. Uh, all right, so we've got the house, which is looking pretty nice. I feel like maybe we could do a little bit more with the overhang of some of the uh, the roofs, but uh, let's not worry about that for now because I feel like in the previous episode we were trying to work our way north, uh, specifically to, uh, I guess we were on the way to the Flame Sanctum, and we'd actually been there before, or... Or perhaps maybe we were about to arrive to the Flame Sanctum, but uh, we didn't quite get there yet. So, let's just fast travel to one of our uh, Flame Altars there, and we should be able to continue where we left off. And then, I guess, since we're very close to... Uh, the location of the Alchemist's Mortar. Maybe we should actually try and get there. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can get to this Flame Sanctum now. Uh, and yeah, it, it seems to be perhaps in the mountain itself. Yeah, here we go. So uh, it seems to be perhaps maybe just through there. Oh, okay. There was a trap there. Didn't realize. Just try and defeat all of these Chewbacca looking monsters here. There we go. Grab everything. And I think we saw this before. This gives us some kind of a blessing. I'm not sure what it actually does for us. Uh, but I guess it could be like a strength or, you know. Uh, power blessing or something like that. Anyway, we are at the Flame Sanctum. So we should be able to collect sparks and stuff, I think. Yeah, very good. Alright. We'll grab everything. I don't particularly need these things, do I? Might actually just delete them because I'm not really getting into magic. But, uh, yeah, so, now that we've been to the Sanctum, I'm thinking we should actually make our way to the next place. So, I guess Alchemist Mortar is probably a good idea. Oswald Anders' chest, right? Uh, then we've got the Ancient Vault of the Farmer right here as well. And I think that's a really good goal to just get the final craftsperson. Uh, and I think we can then, you know, focus a little bit more on building and stuff like that. We should also uh, consider whether or not we want to move the house somewhere. Because uh, obviously we are still just in the starting location. It'd be nice to be able to move somewhere sort of a little bit more inland so to speak. So, uh, anyway, let's get going. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna try and cut down these trees here, because any chance to get a little bit more extra resin might not be a bad idea. Maybe have some water. We want to eat some chicken. We may as well. Okay, a bit of extra resin there. Very good. Considering how difficult it is to find resin, I, I think it's probably a good idea for us to try and uh, stop and grab some resin every time we see those types of trees. Um, well, I want to disassemble this. It might not be such a bad idea, actually, to try and disassemble the home or the, um, the flame altar. Uh, I'm just 
trying to remember how to do that. I think we just extinguish the flame, right? Yeah. And it will just disappear in 20 seconds or so. Uh, we just need to make sure that we've got, like, stone if we want to make some more flame altars, but I don't really have a lot. I think we can just, like, stop and gather some stone when we need it. Right. Um, so I, I do see that little bit of shroud there. Is there a reason for us to go there? Probably not. Let's just... Try to glide our way down here. I wonder if these guys are just like immune to parrying or something. So uh, every time I try to parry, they seem to just go into the uh, blocking stance. Okay, so I'm sort of hoping we'll be able to sort of just go through there. But uh, it's kind of impossible to tell if there is actually a pathway. Uh, we do have a... Uh, what is this called? I forget what they're called, but uh, this would be like a spawn point just in case if we do, you know, die for whatever reason. I have some berries. Pump up our HP a little bit. Okay, we do have shroud here. Uh, I'm guessing we'll go through the shroud and then eventually arrive at the uh, at the vault. We're at eight minutes. You know what? Uh, why don't we? do the right thing here and use some of our resources. So, got eight minutes, but if I use the Shroud Survival Flask, I think I'll get... Oh, maybe I'm already under the effect of the Shroud uh, Survival Flask. Hmm. Anyway. I'm gonna try and focus on finding our way to the vault. I guess it's through here somewhere, maybe. Oh, these guys are pretty tough. go. Uh, probably do want to just heal up a little bit. Shroud sack. Okay. I think we've seen those flower things before. Again, it's been a while since I've played, guys, so perhaps maybe there could have been certain things that we've seen in previous episodes. I just can't remember. Uh, Lone Thistle. These enemies seem to be doing like some kind of a charge attack as well. So you gotta be a little bit careful about that. Yeah, we do have a few enemies in the area.
Hmm. I'll take these. Didn't mean to take the fireballs, but... This fireball level 2, though, so... Okay, now we do have a really big problem here. Our sword durability is almost depleted. And I'm thinking it's probably going to be a better idea for us to leave the shroud. Uh, maybe fast travel back home and then come back when we've repaired everything. Was that? Anyway, not gonna stick around to try and find out. Okay. So let's get this thing built. Uh, need a flame altar. Yes, uh, crafting. Yeah, we've got enough. So let's craft one. And let's just get this in our tool belt here. And let's place it down. Hmm. Alright, we might need a little bit more space. Maybe here? Yeah, I guess. Uh, it is sort of right in the way of a path, but it's not like we're going to be using this spot to actually build a house. Uh, there's something here. Oh. Yeah, enemies are definitely tougher in this area. Let's head back home. Uh, one thing that didn't really cross my mind uh, was the fact that you can, in fact, build in an area that already has some structures and you could end up sort of just uh, claiming those structures for yourself, maybe repairing certain structures if you wanted to. And so there's a lot of structures out there in the world that are really quite beautiful and uh, already quite uh, I guess well built. You just need to sort of uh, do a, a few repairs here and there to sort of make it your own. Anyway, we are fully repaired. It is not night just yet, but uh, I figure maybe if we just have a lie down we can get a rested buff and uh, yeah, we should be able to continue where we left off. So, uh, right here. And I think I'll leave that altar there, just in case. But yeah, I want to try and get to the uh, 
the next craftman craftsman as uh, quick as possible. Then we can start playing around with farming, I assume. And we've, uh, we've whittled down a few of the enemies in the area, which is good, so my assumption is that things won't be as bad as before, especially with that, I think that was a level 15 enemy before that we had trouble with. There probably are going to be a few more enemies in the area, but... Okay, uh, should I spend time trying to gather up stuff? I don't know, I don't know if that's really wise. I'll just grab stuff from defeated enemies, at the very least. Bit of a graveyard situation going on here. What is that? Uh, I wonder if I should try to blow a hole in there and see if I can actually find something. Okay. Not really as exciting as I hoped it would be, but. My bad. I forgot about that lingering gas that these things produce. Ow. Okay. Uh, let's not hang around too long here. We're only at five minutes remaining. Oh god, All right. We'll deal with these things. Wonder if there's a way for us to climb up there. Location above. I mean, if I can get myself out of the shroud, that would be nice. Um, should I be looking around a little bit? I feel like we'll likely find something that's going to help with the enshrouded timer. Actually, we just recovered a little bit there. Ah, yes, we can breathe a little bit of air here. Nice. <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, that was... A bit of a worry. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'll have a, a look around in the building and then uh, even if we do get the next crafts person, we can sort of backtrack a little bit. So, there's something downstairs. Alchemist's Mortar. 
Yeah. Um, how do I get through though? Unless I'm supposed to get in there from above. Uh, I do see buttons in there, so yeah, that could very much be the case. My spirit is broken. Can I really blame the people for turning away from my potions in their desperation? Most of my visitors these days are rats and other sad pests. So far they have not proven to be great lab partners. There must be a better way to clear the shroud, to overcome it. Perhaps I should reconsider my efforts. Hmm. Find a way inside the laboratory. Yep. Surely, surely there is some kind of a pathway. <laughs> Copper poison arrow. Uh... There's some stairs leading up there, or... Uh, sorry, there's a ladder leading up there, rather. Or another set of stairs. Interesting. Uh, I think I'll just take the arrows. And, yeah, let's see what's up here. This was not a good idea. Perhaps such bewildering and unusual implementation for my button causes more issues than anticipated. I thought locking my laboratory door this way would be useful, but my back pain tells me otherwise. Soot besmirches my feathers and my spine aches. This was among my worst ideas. Okay. Collect. Oh, okay. Torch. And there's a button over there, so I'm guessing that's going to open one of the doors. Or actually, I just need to press it. My bad. Anything else useful in here? A great mace. 39 damage. Rare. I mean... Let's just take a look at it shall we? So 39 damage versus 22 damage. So even the base damage is already better, plus we can upgrade it a little bit more. I mean... Oh, okay, it's a two-handed weapon though, so I won't be able to do any, uh, any parrying or anything like that. Okay, so I'm guessing we just need to go back down now. We should be all good. Uh, yeah, so there's another one of those spawn points there. Um, I was not expecting that. That's kind of good, just in case. You know, this sword's actually pretty nice because it does actually give you a little bit of light to work with. Glider. I've always been fond of birds. They weave through the wind so effortlessly. To uh, embrace the, hor the horizon in these trying times, to discover whatever it is you seek, free of all corruption spent, uh, spreading beneath such a wondrous journey. Mayhap mankind can conquer the skies through invention. I shall craft a glider and voyage to the hills from here. One way or the other, I'll land among the Blue Jays. 
And another survival flask, that's good. All right, let's head downstairs. I think that's the, the uppermost area. There we go, so it is open. This door is still locked though. Uh, is there a way we can get through? The answer is very much so. Why though? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it because this room literally connects. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that. I, I don't need it because uh, we're not really using mana, are we? Okay, there we go. So we've got the mortar. So now Balthazar should be able to do more. Uh, and assuming with that he will have just a an increased repertoire of things to do perhaps maybe even some of our crafting options may have increased as well as a result um, all right so let's just take a look at the map doesn't look like there's really anything else in this vicinity so all we need to do really is just uh, teleport back. We could probably teleport once we're out of the shroud. Um, do I need to keep this uh, flame altar there? I mean, does it hurt to just leave them there? It just becomes like an easy way for us to travel everywhere. Um, yeah, let's just go to the upper levels here. Should be able to fast travel from here. Here's hoping. Okay, brilliant. So now Balthazar should be pretty happy. Hey, hey. Uh, mortar returned. Uh, My mortar! You brought it with you. It didn't cause you any trouble, right? Please place it in our base for me, will you? Okay, uh, so I need to place it. How do I... how do I do that? Oh, I, it's actually just here. And I can just put it, like, down somewhere. Um, does it matter where I put it? I suppose maybe I just put it here then. Hopefully it's close enough. Uh, in Valheim you have to sort of keep certain things close to each other. The birds sing sweetly. Uh, he's got something to say about the carpenter. Another friendly face. This one will make a fine addition to our roster. Brilliant, yeah. Let's take a look at what you can craft now. So, two types of health potions. Greater health potion now is available. Wisp of light. Uh, releases a glowing wisp that lights the darkness. This could be kind of decent. How do I get the bug dust and glow dust? A very good question. Um, Flask of the Fell. Increased stamina by 20. Wow, okay, that, that seems really, really good. We do need to get into some uh, growing of these veggies here and fruits. Uh, bug dust. Oh, okay, here we go. So we, we actually make it from here. Yeah. Why not? We can make some goo, a sticky paste used to bind chemical substances. And glow dust. Let's just craft a few. And now we should be able to make some wisps of light. Um, need one more. One more bug dust. There we go. So we've got a couple of flasks of wisps of light. Perhaps maybe that's something that we want to keep handy. Um, somewhere in the, in the tool belt. So, yeah, maybe somewhere like there. That way we don't have to use the torch every time. We can use wisps of light to, to try and, um, light the way when we need it. Uh, alright, so let's just deposit stuff. And yeah, I guess 
these poison arrows might not be too bad. We can always use some extra arrows. Uh, let's delete that. Tomatoes. Are we keeping tomatoes anywhere? It doesn't look like it. Our inventory is full, actually. So, I almost feel like we're going to need to craft even more storage sometime very soon. Um, right. Flask of the Fell. Yeah, I don't know if that's something that's that we should be having more regularly compared to water. Just to increase our stamina even more. Anyway, um, I don't think we have anything to cook. Let's have a sleep. That should speed up the night a little bit, and then we'll uh, decide how we want to get to uh, the the farmer. So let's maybe consume a little bit of water. Consume that as well. Okay, let's take a look at where we're at here. So... It is... pretty far. I'm just thinking about whether or not I would like to... work my way there... from the south. So maybe... coming in from the ancient spire. Or if we want to sort of continue our journey here. Perhaps maybe the Ancient Spire is the answer here, so we can teleport up there, we can glide our way down. We'll try and clear this elixir well. Um, so we do have some ticks here. I'm, I'm just not entirely sure what the ticks mean uh, exactly. Does it mean that we have been there? Perhaps. Though, we have been to a lot of these other places and we don't see any ticks either, so... Uh, yeah. Sort of scratching my head about that. We have this ring of rot here, which we haven't been to, apparently. But I feel like... I feel like we have. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go to the Ancient Spire. Fast travel there. Yeah, hopefully, uh, if there's... Sort of one last thing we can do in this episode, it's going to be just getting that uh, the farmer joining us. Right, so I think we've got full stamina here. Let's just check where we are. Maybe we do want to go to the salt mine first because it's on the way. That one was a pretty big tree, so I was hoping for a lot of resin from it, but not really that much. Uh, but apparently, according to you guys in the comments, uh, we're guaranteed to get at least a little bit of resin from some of these yellow trees. So yeah, always good to keep an eye out for them. Okay, so I want to try and find the highest spot that we can here, and then we'll glide down. Somewhere from here, I think. Just taking a look at our stones. Okay, we don't really have any. So I'm just going to gather a little bit, and then... When I arrive at a spot that I think we can put down an altar, we will. Probably will need to gather up some more stone, though. We could go through the farm if we wanted to, or we could just, like, drop into the shroud immediately, but... I'm sort of aiming for this upper ground over here, if we can reach it. I think we can.
Okay. There is definitely like some kind of interesting looking house over there. Which uh, might be an interesting thing to try and explore. So yeah, let's go there. But we do need to be careful about being in the shroud for too long. don't see any entrance way unless maybe it's back here probably is to be honest Try and stay out of the the gas. So with the amount of storage we have, I'm not that keen on picking up some of the basic materials that we can always find everywhere. So I might just sort of, uh, you know, refrain from picking absolutely everything up. Oh god. Level fives, okay. Not too bad. Was searching for something here. I think I may have taken everything. Yeah, I could potentially be kicking myself a little bit here, or shooting myself in the foot by not collecting absolutely everything, but I don't know if I really want to spend so much time, uh, you know, inventory managing all the time. So, it's good to know that we can breathe a little bit here. Probably breathe a little up this way as well. Forest Longbow. So I'm guessing that's probably not as good as what we have. Wildwood. This is actually 12 already and it's not upgraded. This is a legendary one though. But I mean... Why not? If it does like better base damage. I think we'll just go this way. And hoping that we don't like come across any lava or anything like that, but... There is a road. And that's always very nice because, well... It means that we consume less stamina if we're on the roads. Egerton Salt Mines. Oops. Okay, we are now level 7. Tempting to pick that up immediately, but we don't need to do that right now. Okay, he actually throws like the shroud gas. Interesting. Haven't seen enemies like that before. Uh, 
uh, probably don't need that. My faculties sharp as ever. Thumping leads the way. A bold, beautiful pounding. It rattles my bones, but wets my palate. My shy compatriots have no taste for riches, or so it seems. As they departed while I slept, we had just broken into the tunnel where, deep at the end, the wonderful buzzing seems to sing. No matter, uh, sorry, no matter. More for Bertram, I say. Forward ho, Bertram. Hmm. Grab that. We'll break that down in a moment. We're at five minutes here for the shroud timer. I don't know if I should be concerned. The critter nest here, apparently. A tainted axe. Apparently it's some kind of a epic weapon. There is an upper level there. I don't exactly know how to get up. But, oh, here. Oh, well, actually this is the entryway. Hmm. I don't really think that there is too much going on here. So, my initial thought was to be able to make our way to the vault from here, but it doesn't look like there is a way, unless there is a way to climb up. Um, let's pick this up. Might need it. It doesn't look like there's a way through. There might be a way through there. They are still enshrouded though, which is definitely a concern. Uh, this could be very well the entrance to how to, you know, actually get to the elixir well. Cave okay, passage. Level 9 enemies here. We'll get ourselves surrounded. Okay, there's no shroud here, which is good. Is there something down there? Okay, just more critters. Oh god. I did not mean to fall down. All good. All good. Okay, we are actually very close by to uh, this elixir well. So what I'm going to do is actually make uh, one of our flame altars here. And we'll just put it down 
Hopefully we've actually got enough space for it. Yeah, it looks like we do. Okay, very good. So now we should be able to just like um, teleport back here when we do decide to go home. Actually, uh, it might not be a bad idea to go home right now because our sword is low on durability again. Yeah, considering where we're at with the uh, exploration, I don't really think that we're going to be able to get to uh, our farmer craftsperson in this episode. We're likely going to only have enough time to clear the elixir well. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to just do that by the end of this episode. The very least. Okay, level 9 enemies here as well. seen this blue barrel before. I wonder what that does. Maybe that's just like more of the uh, shrouded gas, I guess. Got some very large urns. Almost seems like this could have been like some kind of a distillery. I think we are at the location, right? Um, hang on, let's set the waypoint. Okay, should be in this building somewhere. Here we go. So again, I'm expecting there to be some kind of a boss that we'll have to deal with. How do we get back up again? Ow. was a tiny bit janky. Okay, that's just pointing us to the well, but I guess it's not going to point us to the location of the roots that we have to cut down. Oh yeah, okay. The smartest move.
Okay, which way do we go? Down here? Quite possibly. Just took damage from that. actually a lot of enemies plus the boss uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just get rid of the little guys first if we can we're at four minutes a little bit worried Okay, now we can focus a little bit more. Just recovering some stamina. God. <laughs> wow. He pretty much downed me in one hit. That's quite horrendous. <laughs> uh, um, well, I think most of the enemies are all dead down there, right? So let me just prepare for this a little bit more. question is, am I going to be able to defeat him with the, uh, with the durability that I currently have? Got the extra tainted axe here, which I, I guess I could use that in an emergency. Yeah, down here. Okay. That's not the way. Wow. <laughs> Ignoring these nests is definitely not the right way. Okay. Um... at four minutes. This is actually pretty brutal. Uh, what I might do is see if I can go back and is there a way for me to climb up from here?
Okay. Yeah, the big problem that I see with this uh, fight is our durability running out. So let's just head back. And I'll fix that problem for a second. Then we'll head back out. Alright, so... Shouldn't be too hard to just glide back to where we need to go. Well, I guess we won't really glide very far, would we? But that's okay. At least all of the enemies aren't here anymore. Ah, oh, um. I should have actually gotten a, a rested buff as well. Okay. Eh. Uh, hang on, that's not a good idea. Not until we've taken one of these survival flasks, I think. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, definitely having a little bit more trouble here. I mean, I guess that's fair enough. These enemies are technically higher level than us, so... It only really makes sense for them to be tougher to deal with. And I feel like that uh, that drop isn't even that big, but it is doing damage to us, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we just need to... Make sure we get out of the way of his main attack there. Just recharge our stamina a little bit. close. Also needing to make sure that I actually have some stamina to dodge away. There we go. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> it's getting a little bit sweaty there. Uh, yet yeah, another one of these fell Thunderbrute heads. Um... Yeah, it's interesting that we we don't have any other bosses that we've seen so far. It's just fell Thunderbrute all the time. Three minutes to go, but I think we should be able to just chop this down and get rid of the shroud that way.
Nice. All right. Now we can breathe a little bit easy. And we can look around a little bit more as well. See if there's any actual loot here. Critters are actually quite brutal, aren't they? Anything interesting here? Hmm. Don't think so. And then we're getting into more shrouded territory. That's fine. Uh, I think we can maybe fast travel back from here. Uh, and yeah, in the next episode, I guess we'll start from this location and work our way north towards the, the vault. Uh, hopefully we can get to the carpenter then. But yeah, this elixir well has been proving to be quite difficult this time. Uh, I, I guess we should be spending quite a bit of time trying to uh, grind our level a little bit. Try and actually, uh, you know, get ourselves to the level that some of these enemies are. That would actually make things a lot easier for us, but... Uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Not too much building, well, not any building whatsoever this time around, I guess. But uh, I guess sometimes some of the these episodes be like that so uh, maybe we'll get into a little bit more building in the next one as well righto guys thanks for watching leave a like or a dislike or a comment or two down below stay true and i'll see you guys in the next one